Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys a few things I got in on consignment. I'm also going to show you right after that some items I pulled back from the vault. Uh, these are all items that are in my personal collection. So we got some pretty cool items that are in there, but um, some of the items you probably get, you, you guys have probably seen before. But then after that, I'm going to show some more items that you guys have gifted for Noah. So Noah, if you happen to be watching this, uh, I'm going to give you the, a little bit of a heads up. And uh, you might want to tune out, especially if this is for Christmas. Should be send, sending out a package for you tomorrow with everything that has been received. And then I'll be doing another one later on. I know some of you are still sending in a few things. But let's start off with some of these items that come in on consignment. Got a Marnie. Got a uh, 20th anniversary Mew. The lily pad Mew, right? It's the rock Mew. Got a Mewtwo pristine. Got a reprint of the Ivy Pikachu there or... <clears throat> What was it on the Japanese side? Like the Azo Bikeda? It was some weird word like that. Uh, we got a Zapdos from Majestic Dawn. Got a cool Dark Magician. And the VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Now, if you guys are wondering, this was that consignment that we couldn't figure out, or I couldn't figure out who it was for. An email got lost somewhere. But uh, I got in contact with the guy, and we got it all figured out. All right, next up, we have some Japanese stuff. This is the Dendra. We got the Iono, both versions. Got the one that... Uh, I guess the alternate art. I believe that was the real expensive card, right? Or it was a really expensive one. Got an, a Lucario from a, that was an event prize. I'm not really sure what event that was. Got a Miriam. And again, we've got the really cool looking Miriam. We got the Charizard EX. Pulled the 9-5. Celebration Fanfare in the Pristine 10. Then we have a couple One Piece cards. These One Piece cards are coming in. So far, they've done pretty good in auction. I mean, I assume they're doing pretty good in auction. I don't know what they're supposed to go for, but... Bring in uh, decent prices that I'm seeing at least. All right, so now we're going to start into the, the vault stuff. That was it. That was it for consignments. Didn't have a whole lot there. So we'll start off with we have some FPO cards, which some of these may end up going up for auction because, like, I think for like the well, I don't think so for the Air Force, but I know for the Arbok I've got a nine five. So this nine may end up going up for sale. Blastoise, I think that's my last Blastoise, Clefable, and Doug Trio. And of course, we have the FPO Manhole card, which some of you may be able to see it, but it actually has four position only written in here. You can kind of see where some of the letters are missing, but they're whited out, and that's why it's hard to see. What else do we have in here? I think I've got them in order, so it may not be like too terribly uh, suspense building. All right, we got a pre release Clefable pulled the eight. Got the Aerodactyl in a 10, plus the uh, gold version, or I guess you could say, what is it? The, I used to call this one the Galaxy. Um, then someone else adopted the, the Cosmos, and then this one's now the Galaxy. So it's kind of weird how that works. But yeah, so this is like the Cosmos uh, foil right there, and that's the Galaxy. But you've got the brown and the gold stamp. And you also, here's a pre release Dark Gyarados. Now, I'm not going to have all of these complete because some of the cards are still in the vault. Still do have about 20 cards or so I need to get out. Got a first edition 10 Alakazam. Got a first edition 10 on the Blastoise. These are base set. Now, some of these have been in my collection for a while. And I've had these. These cards were you know, pre-boom. So a lot of these are older certs. We've got the Chansey right there with it in a 10. Got Clefairy. Got the Hitmonchan. Machamp. Magneton. Mewtwo. There's the Nido King, Nine Tails, the Polyrath. I think I've got an extra, I want to say Nine Tails, or no, maybe a Nido King in Polyrath, or maybe a Zapdos in Polyrath. There's the Raichu, Venusaur, and the extra ones I plan to put up for sale. We'll, we'll just have to see. There's Zapdos. Now we're moving on to Shadowless. Got an Alakazam. Good looking Charizard there. Clefairy, Gyarados, Hitmonchan. Looks like we're pulling up to the Mewtwo next. All right, so these are all shadowless. You got the Nido King, Nine Tails, Polyrath, a Venusaur, Zapdos, and then this is the No Damage Nine Tails. It's the highest grade that I own. You got a PSA nine. Technically, I have a BGS nine. I think it might be. It's supposed to be higher, like it's a Mint Plus, but maybe it's got one A5 sub. I can't remember. <clears throat> but this one is definitely in better condition. I thought about trying to cross this to CGC, see if it get the 9, 5, or 10. Because, I mean, it's it's a pretty nice PSA 9. Like, it's, it's really nice. All right, next up we have Best of Game. I pulled out the I pulled out any that were, like, reverse hollow. So I got the Electabuzz. There's the winner stamp. 
Then we have the Hitmonchan, also with the winner stamp. We got the Professor Elm, did not have a winner version that anybody has ever found. And then right there, we've got the Rockets Mewtwo and uh, Rockets Hitmonchan, which did not have non winner versions as far as we know. I've got some Black Star promos, put out the hollows and reverse hollows. Got the Mew in its hand, got the Meowth in its hand. This case is pretty wrecked. Got to get that one recased. There's the Eevee in its hand. Come across three of these, two of these have graded. There's the Venusaur in the tin. This one, man, it's still, I don't know how many of these are ever going to make it out there in the wild. Cool Porygon, Dark Persian, got Birthday Pikachu. Got an Entei. Got the Pichu. There's the Dark Persian. This one's missing the HP. I don't have a 10. Jim Mint, he has the only one. All right, next up we have some Chrome Zards. There's the regular. There's the Spectra. There's the Sparkle. And then the rarest of, the all, of them all is the Techno. But a lot of people really like the Sparkle. These you get three to a box. These you get two to a box. And with there being, it was like 76 or 77 cards or so, it would, uh, you know, you've got a, the chance of pulling a Techno Zard, I guess, is like one in. 35 boxes or something like that with 38 boxes and you, know, you got the sparkle charizard it's gonna be pretty tough too what else we got here we've got a dark charizard we've got a this is the non hollow dark charizard there's a blaine's charizard another one got a uh, an 8 for the psa base set charizard another psa 8 there's an 8.5 There's the shiny hidden fates Zard. Got the reverse hollow. Got the regular hollow. Then we have some sample cards. I believe this is the entire sample set minus coughing and Pikachu. For some reason, I missed those. But I do have at least I do have one Pikachu in a ten PSA ten. I think I've got maybe one in a lower grade too. And then I also pulled out three Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We've got the red eyes black dragon or the B dragon. Got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. These are all American English. And then we have the Guy of the Dragon Champion. First edition in a 10. So I'm very happy to get these back. Glad they got back safely. I'm going to put these back into my personal collection boxes. I am selling off some of the other stuff that is in the vault. I'm hoping that in time, you know, everything gets kind of upgraded with the vault. Um, you guys know I've expressed my concerns. I'm not going to go into all that again, but maybe one day they'll get that stuff opened up a little bit better and uh, I'll have more items I can stick in there all right so first up we have this is from pokey chef so this is for Noah so Noah if you're uh, looking to tune out now would be the time all right so pokey chef sent an art set of blister packs well not an art set sent one of each of the newest four scarlet and violet sets Got base set, Paldi Evolved, Obsidian Flames, and Paradox Rift, so that's pretty cool. He sent a Crown Zenith pack, so you got a specialty pack. Got a special Bulbasaur promo. Got some uh, some singles in here. I'll leave this one to a mystery. I haven't opened that one up yet. He sent a Charmander card. What else do we have in here? Oh, I'll see a little note. It's a sticky note. It's just a little sticky. There you go. It says for Noah. And then we have a V-Star marker. So that's pretty cool. I think uh, by the time you get all the stuff in, Noah, you're going to have plenty enough to, to play with. Be able to battle back and forth, trade some. All right, so next up we have, we have a note. All right, it says, Merry Christmas, Noah. I want to let you know that no matter what other kids may say or do, that you are still an amazing person. Here are a bunch of cards I want you to have in hopes of when you are playing the game at school or in the neighborhood that you become the king of the group. Remember to always keep a smile, and most importantly is to have fun and do what you love. Best wishes, best wishes and happy holidays from my family to yours, Anthony G, a.k.a. Birthday Pikachu Master. Yes, you gotta catch them all. And then you drew you a nice little Christmas tree right there. So let's see what kind of goodies he sent you. But thank you so much for the note. Those notes, they go they really go a long way. Alright, so it looks like he's kind of got like a build and battle kit here for Obsidian Flames. And then he stuck some cool cards in here. We're gonna start with that little Voltor. Ooh, look at that Radiant Eternatus. Got some hollows, got some EXs. Looks like you might have had a Japanese pack right here. Here are some reverse hollows, got a few energies in there. There's a, a Gita. Now these energies and trainers don't don't discount them now. They 
if you're actually going to play the game, you're going to need some of this stuff. I mean, you should have plenty of energies now. But these trainers, that's going to be key to running your deck. Very, very good for consistency. So I'm going to just kind of scoot through these really quickly. Leave some of them to surprise, I guess. But thank you again. Definitely appreciate all these gifts that you guys are sending, Noah. I think it's really cool how uh, you guys can rally around it. And like I said, really, there's really nothing to gain on your side, but it's cool that... Oh yeah, so this guy, he sent five bucks along with it. This was from uh, Joseph with Late Nights in Johto. He's got a cool little business going. He um, he consigns a lot of stuff with me. I think he's got a few things up right now. Maybe he does, or maybe he did. Looks like he sent some cool looking stickers here. Nice. Got a, is this the Firebox one? I can't really tell. But it's the World Championship card, Restaurant and Charizard GX. Got some old made cards. Got some fan favorites in there. Ooh, got some original BK cards. Got a perforated, got them all perforated. And it looks like he also sent a couple slabs to you. There's a nice one. We got the Reshiram and Charizard GX. And I think we also have an old maid in here. Which one do you think it's going to be? Ooh, Pikachu pulled the 10. Very cool. These are really nice slabs right there. Thank you, Joseph. Definitely appreciate it. I'm sure Joseph or uh, Noah, will, Noah will appreciate all your gifts as well, Joseph. Uh, next up we have... And... All right, so, um, hi Noah, welcome to the Pokemon TCG. Greetings from Felix in Germany, Europe. And uh, he sent me $3, and so what I did was he wanted to send him some cards. I want to make sure that, you know, it wasn't just here in America that, you know, we were trying to welcome into the community. He's, uh, he's from Europe, and he wanted to put that message in there, so thank you, Felix. But I thought this would be a, a cool little couple promos we could send there for three dollars so definitely appreciate that you got the pikachu v and the pikachu v max people love their pikachus and then last i didn't show this last time but james you guys know james from the stream he donated a booster box who doesn't want a booster box so there we have it we have a scarlet and violet base set booster box thank you again james and ayla i know you're a part of that as well definitely appreciate both of you in the streams we haven't had a live now in a little bit uh, still got the basketball season going but who knows maybe we'll have one you just never know what might happen um, i do like spending some time with the family though and especially this time of year i mean that's what that's what everybody wants to do right they just want to relax spend some time with family you know kick off your shoes maybe go outside have some fun and I hope that all of you have time for that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, definitely appreciate all the gifts for Noah. If they, as they come in, I'll make sure to put them together. I'll try to show them here in a video if I have time. If I don't, you're welcome to reach out to me. But, guys, as always, appreciate the time you take to watch this video. Give it a like. I'll be honest. I don't really look at the likes that much. I try to look at the comments and stuff, but I definitely appreciate it. Uh, the, the subscriber count continues to, to creep up there somehow, even though I haven't put a whole lot of effort in there. So I really appreciate all of you guys who are subscribed and you come back and check out these videos. Y'all have a very Merry Christmas.